from the early days of automobiles and motorcycles, most people couldn't afford an automobile, and I'm talking pre-World War I. But they wanted more than a motorcycle, so they figured out, well, let's try the cycle car. They had little side-by-side -side cars, four and a half seating like this one, which is really cool. I mean, it's got two doors. This thing's cool. Kind of speechless about it. You know, I'm really glad Mike sent me down here, because I've seen a couple cycle cars in my day, but I've never seen a 1914 MERS. That was just really impressive to me. And I noticed it's got that large spacky in it. That's it's the biggest one I ever saw in my life, but that's the one that was for the cycle car. You know, I always liked the look of a spacky deluxe, and this is a large version. I've never seen that motor that size. You know? You'd have to have the big one to pull all that extra weight. It's a little bit more that's than true. a two-wheeler. Two people. Is this body original? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's yes. Oh, yeah. Body. It was all okay. original. Just everything about it, every angle of it was killer. It was the best of the best of the period. I love and the look. And the most expensive. I love the look of it. Us seeing it in person was pretty overwhelming. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Almost like being in a museum. Yeah. It should be in a museum, really. All right. From what I've got so far, we got the wrong size tires. No big deal, really. But that's good observing that. Headlights wrong. Need to build some exhaust and the hood ornament. And it's restored. I mean, it's not original paint, but that's to be expected for something this old. I know that's what pickers do, you know, when they nitpick you like crazy on little detail stuff, but the big stuff is there. I mean, come on, Dave. <laughs> it's pretty complete, yeah. you know? And it's rare. It's very rare. There's only two of them known to exist. This is one of the two. All right, the big question. You mean money? How much, Pat? Come on. Bottom line. Oh, this is the bottom line. Bottom line. 37.5. I tell you what, okay. I, I'm gonna go up 34. I'll, I'll, I'm at 34. That's that's I'll tell it. You for what. Me. That's that's it. For I'll me. go I'll go down two grand to 35. And if you don't like it, I give him his money back. That's what there more? you go. I mean, how much straighter can you there's be? No, there's no downside risk. I mean, nobody makes you a money-back guarantee. So there's money in the bank. That shows you how much he loves that stuff. Exactly. That's a true collector.